The Cube at EMC World 2014 is brought to you by EMC. Redefine. VCE. Innovating the world's first converged infrastructure solution for private cloud computing. Brocade. Say goodbye to the status quo and hello to Brocade. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live in Las Vegas for EMC World 2014. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined by my co-host Dave Vellante, co-founder of Wikibon.org. We have a special guest here, Luciano Armenti, Armenti, <laughs> CIO, I'll let you say it for yeah, yourself, CIO you. of the Bibliotech, of, of the Vatican Library, okay. so it, it was called the Bibliotheca, so you say it in Italian, it's always better when you say it. Yeah, uh, that, the Vatican Library is the start to this particular project because uh, mm, the our collection is full of 80,000 manuscripts. And in 500 years of the story of the Howard Library, the library gives the chance to study only 20% of the Howard collection. This is because it's very difficult and then, four years ago, decided to digitalize all the our collection because the our target is to give the chance all the world to read the our manuscript. Because today is no more possible to take out the manuscript from the bunker and give it to the person to read one because it's too precious, too delicate. And the chance that we have is digitalize anything and give this precious a collection to all the people around of the world. So you're digitizing. Um, we start. We started. Digital. So how, <laughs> when did you start and how long do you think it'll take? Because I know that here in the U.S. they started digitizing the JFK library and I know that it's a long process. What do you, what's yeah. your estimation of completion? That it really depends on how many money we try to search in fundraising. For the moment with the our resource, the project will be in 10 years. Uh, now we use it 25 person on the workflow. Uh, this workflow provided for produce uh, 1,000, 2,000 manuscripts any month. That's so complicated because the Vatican Library decided to digitalize the manuscript in new and format. This format for the standard is uh, feeds. This is uh, standard for con long term conservation is a project by NASA on to 78. And then it's important because this format is used only for astronomic picture. It's the first time that the same format is used for manuscripts. Uh, this is very strange because uh, in uh, one world where the technology is always at the top, the second possibility that we have is save the manuscript in TIFF. A TIFF is uh, one format that created in 92, but the last update is in 98. It's only 52 bit. And for us, it's a terrible to take the decision. They decided to a new one way. With the feasts, for us, is a, maybe a new way for to start all the long-term conservation project. So who has access to these documents? Uh, Anyone, is free. All the manuscript that we digitalize will be free, it will be online on the, our web. Anyone can give a free access. So today, people would, go, or previous to this project, yeah. people would come in and request uh, access to the document, they would stay in the library and, yeah, and read, yeah. but, but you it's say too that, complicated. But it's too complicated, too slow, uh, too, too, much too, expensive. too precious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. expensive. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then so uh, you're, you're, you're storing all this, you're digitizing it and putting it on, on disk, is that right? Yeah, in uh, EMC Square Storage. That uh, is Isilon architecture. And then we, day after day, we implement the Howard Data Center because uh, we st the, our pilot project is a pilot in any detail. Is a pilot for workflow, is a pilot for a new format, is a pilot for hardware and software that we use it. 
AIM enjoyed to work with UNC Square because we change several times idea. <laughs> and then you stay together <laughs> as we partner the same to data group together as because we we will modify the way or you have the project better. Did you ever consider storing and digitizing on tape as a way to, no. to keep costs down? Why, why not? Why not? Because the accessible data is more faster. And then we realize a disaster recovery for copy. Disaster recovery and business continue for you have another site that will be sure. And uh, the, the management, the data on the disk, it's better for the management of the data on tape. Because sequential read, the temperature is may be a problem on the tape. And there are days that more easy management. Yeah, so simpler, lower, lower cost, lower cost overall in your opinion. Yeah, yeah. Now, what I, I think yes. What about the workflow? Uh, you mentioned the workflow. What yeah. other, what other software is part of this? Uh, we work for years for stabilize the workflow. Inside to the workflow, the human resource uh, will be the principal things, because uh, inside the workflow we take the. Uh, person that manipulate the manuscript, that restoration office that decide which manuscript can to be touched, in which device can to be used for acquiring the manuscript. Uh, there is very rigid procedure for stabilizing. When the manuscript is digitalized, there is a two level of super tutor that are checked the quality for to be storage in EMC square machine. It uses the SRM, system result monitor, for monitoring any detail on the storage, on the BNAX, on the Atmos, that will be easy. I hope the NAST Viper will be give a big one help for us. So you've used SRM in the past, so now you're looking at Viper. Yeah, um, I hope so, yes. So, okay, so when you see the whole talk about software-defined storage and Viper. What do, you, what do you think? What are your thoughts on that? The Viper that will be a very good occasion for the data center people, because can to be have anything in detail, any moment you can understand what's made in my disk, which is the increment of the space. And today I see a scale IO. That will be very interesting because you can take this little piece of the space that remain in several storage. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be a new one thing that maybe we can use it for the future. Interesting, so uh, uh, in your use case, I, I would think object would be interesting, a yeah. get or put, a very simple yeah. interface, but, but the scale I.O. interests you not, so from the standpoint of uh, using the capacity in a pool, yeah. uh, but, n but not, not block, right? Or no, but we have another parallel procedure that you can uh. use at these spaces. So the body on library asks, for example, space for a um, uh, control check, a control gate in RFID, video camera control, any of this information will be stored in another side. Can to be used, there's many information that will be defragmented and then can realize that optimize the space mm -hmm. inside to the data storage. Lu Luciano, I want to ask you about the future plans and why Viper fit into those plans. Can you share the vision and then why Viper? I love the, the idea of Viper. I see the first time in a Lotus Management Center to Oxfordshire. A Viper is a, a total innovation because it's an open source can have a different brand. And this is important because Viper can give the chance to use it, a top level management, very user friendly, what you have in down. That is a revolution. It, for me, I am oldest. I am just a <laughs> Unix engineer. No, it's true. I have a system engineer, Unix. It's true you're Unix, but you're not old. It's very <laughs> difficult to understand <laughs> that it will be so easy moving file system from one way to another one. And that's when I see that is a, the VMware state is a changer. Now no move more the file system, no move more the machine, now move the data center. That is revolutionary for me and easy for the people that work on around in that ascent. Does it help above, up, up the stack? So yeah, above Viper, yeah. what are the things that's going on up top in the stack? So you're 
have great flexibility. Yeah. What What are you doing on the, for applications? For application, that will be a revolution, I think. That because you use it 100% the resource for all that you have in town. You have another point of view. That is important because I remembered my story with the file system. I have peer-to-peer -to, -peer to computer management. We VMware, I have a second step to machine. Now with Viper, I have a point of view from very high level. That's, I think, that it will be a revolution. So I have to ask you, what's it like going to work at the Vatican every day? I am fortunately it's to work in the Vatican. It must yes. be, yeah? Because the people, my boss is a very nice person, and then can decide directly with him. It's so easy that we can investigate with a new one technology or new project. He him decide and if something's wrong, it's my fault. Mm. But <laughs> if something is okay for all the community, will be a new vantage. Uh, have you met Pope Francis? No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. He doesn't, he doesn't come to the library? No, no. <laughs> you bring the books to him? Maybe yeah. so. <laughs> How's security? Because mm. obviously there's a historic 82,000, a lot of manuscripts. Um, security both physical and inside the system. You guys look at that security piece heavily? We have a different level of firewall for security management of the data. And then we have also security level for the physical manuscript. I don't like me speak about the problem to policy of security. I prefer to to be sure that no, really not sure. I hope that no one that to try to open the our system. But normally I give all free. I don't understand if there is a reason for for you have an attack on policy or security of the our system. So you guys get a lot of tourists in your part of the country um, coming and visiting beautiful part of Rome and other areas. Have you had any technical tourists, people who say, I want to come in and just visit your data center and look at the hardware? Why not? Um, Why not? Do they come in? Do you get a lot yeah, of door yeah, people knocking on your door? Yeah, the data center is out of the Vatican State. Can be possible. <laughs> it's more easy. Do you arrange some to tours? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A tour no, of the data no, center? No. This is a movie. <laughs> just a no more. Just a movie. The reality is totally different. Okay. It's better. Okay, so I have to ask you, what is the most exciting thing that you've worked on this year that you could share with the audience at the Vatican Library? What is it could be something different and unique, the most something exciting that you've worked on this year. Really high up that Many things is important because the Vatican Library, the target of the Vatican Library is cover the manuscript for humanity. And the people understand that this job is not for the Vatican Library, but for the future, for the people, for the, our dots. This is a message that will be come in any house. When the project will be handed, it, step by step, any day the people can see inside to the, our web that increment the number of the digitalized manuscript. If this is open to all the people. Any people can flip the page of the manuscript. Uh, really, we have a manuscript so important. We have the St. Peter letter, the copy of the New Testament. We have the original of the, the, the Evangelo from Luca, from Giovanni. We have Divina Commedia original by Dante Alighieri. We have a, several things that will be wonderful. And saving it and preserving it in a digital format for all to have is really an amazing thing. Thank you so much. We're all blessed to have that luxury now of technology. It's one of the benefits, Dave, of the technology. And uh, thanks to uh, you guys and EMC and Viper. It's been great. Uh, thank you, Luciano, for coming on theCUBE. We really appreciate it. Um, the gods are looking down on theCUBE today and bringing us great content. Thank you very much. We'll be right back after this short break. Thank you, me too, for Thank your you. help.